Calgary to cover Virgin Fest. I've got Kat beside me. I've got my Diet Coke and I've got Miley Cyrus on the screen to guide me. It's gonna be a good trip. public toilet it's free and uh, it's motion detected and you can't loiter or sleep in there like a hobo a dirty hobo in fact just walked by and passed it by all right here we are at day one virgin fest calgary we just got here things are just starting to brew up so let's see what's going on Waiting in line for beer. For beer, do you know how long this line is? Uh, yeah, I checked it out. I figure it's about 45 minutes to an hour. Is, is beer this important to your festival experience? Absolutely, <laughs> beer is essential to the festival experience. No. Are you guys here to see? <laughs> Have you guys been in the front the whole time? Yeah. Yes, but it didn't matter because it was such an exhilarating experience. Stone Temple Pilots are coming up and uh, I don't have a photo pass, so I'm going to wade through the crowd and we'll see how that goes. And here's Kat. I saw the set list earlier for Stone Temple Pilots and even though I only know like two songs, they're on the list, so I am pleased with the set list that I saw. Is, uh, is Big Bang Baby on the set list? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I don't know. <laughs> Big bang, baby, it's a crash, crash, crash. Running with that high. I love him. Wayne, if you're watching, just 
Oh, I fell in love with the Thin White Duke too. STP. Uh, Scott is amazing as it turns out. I guess I was just missing out on that, I guess. The whole 90s, I was listening to Mariah Carey when I should have been listening to STP. So now I've learned my lesson, and I'm sorry everyone, you're right.